Hello and welcome back to my channel. As you can probably tell by the title and the thumbnail of this video, today I will be testing two new products from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics and it is the blush and bronzer duo and a little bit of highlight. So if you would like to know my thoughts on these two products, then just keep on watching. As always, with like any other big product, I'm going to read you some of the claims that Jaclyn Cosmetics has when it comes to uh, this product. And by this product, I mean the bronzer and the blusher duo. Uh, this is one of the most recent uh, things that Jaclyn Cosmetics came out with. I'm really, really excited because the packaging looked so, so good and it's actually really, really heavy. She did come out with her highlighters revamped, uh, repackaged. She did come out with the um, highlighters before though. So I'm going to focus on the bronzer and the blusher uh, duo first. The bronzer and blusher duo cost £36 each and I personally got the warm flush golden goddess duo. I also wanted to get the sun kissed and uh, bronze moment however it sold out almost immediately I'm actually pretty happy that I managed to snatch something it did take quite a while for me to get this but I finally got it let's get on with it let's read the description build a flawlessly blended sun-kissed bronze look these complementary soft matte bronzers and satin blush shades deliver soft focus blurred finish and brush on like second skin. Each blush and bronzer shade is hand poured in Italy using the same preparatory filling process as accent light highlighter giving them the same silky soft texture. With seven different pairings to choose from there's a blush and bronzer palette for every skin tone and undertone. Plus this blush and bronzer duo comes complete with a built-in mirror perfect for touch-ups. And then she has suggestions what uh, skin tones uh, would benefit from each of the duos. I'm actually going to check mine because I didn't know this was a thing until now. Warm flush, satin peach, pink, golden goddess, light to medium with warm undertones. I don't think I've got warm undertones but I love me some peach blusher, that's probably why I went with this shade. And like I said, I did want to get the sun-kissed bronze moment duo, but it was sold out. And that's for medium skin tones with neutral undertones. Neutral undertones would probably, you know, work better. But yeah, let's just get on. Come on, get out. Oh, oh, she fancy. This is heavy. This is super heavy, so sleek, looks very expensive. This is cute. I am sort of, I've seen this on her story, I am sort of disappointed that the packaging is pretty bulky. You know, it's pretty thick, it's pretty big in comparison to what you actually get. That does not mean there isn't enough product. I think the product size is great. I just think the actual packaging is too big. It's too bulky for me personally. Um, although it does look very nice and looks and I'm looking forward to it. I think the shades uh, will suit my skin quite nicely. These are the types of colors I would definitely go for. So, Without further ado, let's just zoom me in and let's try these. So the first product I'm going to start with is the bronzer and this is called Golden Goddess. I have my one of my favourite brushes to apply bronzer with and it's like this off-brand angled brush. I'm going to tap my brush in, that's how I would pick up bronzer. I am going to use the mirror that's in the palette. I do have a big mirror in front of me as well. And I'm going to gradually build this on my cheeks. So far, I do have to say that I like how delicate it is. It takes a long time to build the intensity uh, that I like when it comes to bronzer. You know, bronzer is my favorite step. So, um, I like to look bronzed, but 
because I'm gradually building it it's looking cute very nice very smooth not patchy whatsoever I like it and as you can hopefully see this is the bronze side and this is the bare side I like this a lot. I like the colour of it. It's perfect. It's just the right amount of warmth. I love it so far. So good. I'm actually quite glad that I didn't go for one of the like palest shades. I went for like a, a light to medium because this just matches me perfectly. I think if it was any lighter because of the formula, because of how delicate it is, I can just see myself um, deciding that it's too light for my skin. This is perfect. I actually really like the undertone as well because it's not too cool, it's not too warm. Sometimes bronzers on me can just straight up look either really orange or like almost red. This is perfect it's warm toned uh which i like um but it's not like super orange looking i really really like this in fact i love this the blusher <laughs> it's so pretty it's definitely a lot more pink than i would uh, tend to go for i like my blushes to be a little bit more orangey but this this is actually really really nice um and i do sort of like the satin finish oh there was a little bit more kickback with this than there was with the bronzer but let's see that is the most perfect everyday shade love that very delicate again both of these formulas are very i don't want to say not pigmented enough because we are so used to people saying oh yes the pigment is on point but realistically with bronzers and blushes you want something that's a little less pigmented because it's better to gradually build that warmth on your face gradually build the flush on your cheeks rather than put the blusher on or put the bronzer on and it going patchy this blends beautifully because of how because of the pigmentation that it has i'm loving it it looks so so good did not expect to like it so much the bronzer is definitely not for those that are like in a rush when doing their makeup um if you have little kids or if you are getting ready before work and you have maybe five minutes to do your makeup this is not it because like i said you do have to build it a little bit you know i have one layer on now and you can see how delicate this is i personally think the formula is great to to build but if you want like that pigmentation straight away um this is not it delicate i like my uh, blush to be quite intense and a statement but still cute and that satin finish is great my face is not shimmery whatsoever i was actually a little worried that the blusher will be uh, almost highlighty on my face and as a person with oily skin i don't need uh, you know especially in the center of my face where i do tend to put my blusher i don't need any more shine but it's not shiny at all and now it's time for the second product the highlighter i got the shade iced and i believe this is called the accent light and again she revamped the packaging it looks very very similar to the duo of course but this one is in a gold uh, packaging again very very luxe uh, even though it's plastic it looks really really nice it's the inside that matters um and that looks absolutely stunning i didn't actually buy any of the accent highlighters the first time around because they weren't singles they were in a palette and i did think that the palette itself with four highlighters that i knew i wasn't going to use all four um was quite expensive i did end up buying one of the 
little pots and I'm really pleased with that highlighter um, but I'm even more pleased that she now came out with uh, the highlighters as singles because the formula apparently was amazing and I can just see it's amazing I'm going to swatch it and um, this is going to be incredible i just know it this has my favorite like undertone it's nice and uh, light because i do have a reasonably fair skin but it's nice and warm it has a warm undertone oh wow it's getting better and better the more I like buff it in, the more I'm like, oh, this is so pretty. I mean, I knew I was going to love this, but I honestly did not expect to love these products so much. Wow, wow, wow. These two products are incredible. I mean, I thought I was going to like them, but I didn't expect myself to like these so, so much. I love a bronzer and I love a blush and uh, the formulation of this is very, very good. I do wish they were just ever so slightly more pigmented. There was more color to them because the bronzer requires you to build it quite a lot but it does give you a nice sun-kissed very even very smooth very natural uh, bronzed look the blush i'm very very surprised by because i thought the formula will be too shiny for my liking but it's not at all i'm repeating myself but the packaging to me is a little bulky and unnecessary yes it does look nice and i can appreciate that i'm really glad she is investing in her brand but this is so so bulky for what we are getting inside the highlighter is actually incredible it you don't see it on the skin um as like super highlighty powdery stuff it looks wet uh, which is what a highlighter is meant to do it's meant to reflect light and the one thing that i really really like as well is the fact she came out with two mini highlighters and i will be giving you the opportunity uh, to get this highlighter i'm going to make a giveaway in this video i purposely bought a small highlighter for you guys in the shade iced so if you are a fair skin or a medium skin uh, you'll love this as a highlighter even if you have dark skin please enter the giveaway because you will be able to use it as a eyeshadow so there you go a surprise giveaway um if you have survived this long if you've watched the whole video thank you so so much please like comment subscribe if you would like to enter the giveaway check out the description box below uh, i will write down all the requirements on how you can enter and good luck everybody i really really like this and i'm sure you will like it too but for now thank you so much for watching i hope you have enjoyed that if you did make sure to like comment subscribe and yeah i hope to see you next time